I wish I had known um, Mira Rukeyser. Um, she was born here in New York City in 1913 and died in 1980. From the very beginning, her poetry embodied her life. There's biography, autobiography, woven all the way through everything that she wrote. Um, from the very beginning, when she's 21 and she wins the Younger Yale Poets Prize, the poetry speaks of a great power of intellect, but also a kind of severe bravery. She's 21, and the book is entitled Theory of Flight. It's clear that the book addresses one of her obsessions, scientific inquiry. And the book, in a way, is dedicated to Wither Gibbs, who also taught at Yale. Now, in when she's 22, there's a very important gesture. She goes to West Virginia, and she's there pretty much to address the situation of miners working in the coal mines. Interestingly enough, in that same year of 19... 36, she ventures off to Italy, and she's there f for a different reason. She's there to address, basically, the Olympics, because there's a counter Olympics that takes place in Italy, and it is a protest against what's happening in Germany. So she is very much aligned as far as protests, engaging that which is human. Um, I'm going to read a poem entitled San quarry with moving figures. Father, I drove to the sandy quarry across the Rhine marshlands. Mouths of black grass burned for next summer's green. I reached my hand to his beneath the lap robe. We look at the stripe of fire, the blast scene. It's all right, he said. They can control the flames. On one side, men are standing, and on the other, the sea. But I was terrified by the stubble and waste of black and his ugly villages he built and was showing me. The countryside turned right and left about the car. Straight through October, we drove to the pit's heart, sand and its yellow cannon and standing pools and the wealth of the spilt country set us further apart. Look, he said, this quarry 
means rows of little houses, stucco, and a new bracelet for you, a buried there. But I remembered the run patches, and I saw the land ruined, exploded, burned away, and the fiery marshes bare. We are on the countryside, and you see how soon I will. You have acres to play in. I saw the written name painted on stone in the face of the steep hill. That's your name, Father, and yours, he shouted, laughing. No, Father, no. He caught my hand as I cried and smiling, entered the pet, ran laughing down that side. The poem addresses is directed at the father and she's 21 and doesn't hesitate. And that's what I admire, that lack of hesitation in her work. She's clearly formed. Um, In 1975, she is elected president of Penn America Center. 1975. And there's that moment when politics really strikes the core of her. She goes to South Korea to stand at the gate where Kim Che Ha is in prison. She goes from the United States and stands there. And here's a poem from that collection called The Gates, which was published in 19. 76. And it's a poem really with a kind of insinuation, a distilled insinuation, and it's political all the way through. Saint Roach. For that, I never knew you. I only learned to dread you. For that, I never touch you. They told me you are filth. They showed me by every action to despise your kind. For that, I saw my people making war on you. I could not tell you apart, one from another. For that, in childhood, I lived in places clean of you. For that, all the people I knew met you by crushing you, stamping you to death. They poured boiling water on you. They flushed you down. For that, I could not tell one from another, only that you were dark fast on your feet and slender, not like me. For that, I did not know your poems, and that I do not know any of your sins, and that I cannot speak or read your language, and that I do not sing your songs, and that I do not teach our children to eat your food or know your poems or sing your songs, but that 
they say you are filtering our food, but that we know you're not at all. Yesterday, I looked at one of you for the first time. You were lighter than the others in color. That was neither good nor bad. I was really looking for the first time. You seemed troubled and witty. Today, I touched one of you for the first time. You were startled. You ran. You fled away, fast as a dancer, light, strange, and lovely to the touch. I reached, I touched, I began to know you. I think with Mural Rukeyser, it was all a process of learning the so-called other. She was also influenced by folklore, folk music, blues and jazz, and she defined poetry this way, breathing and experience, breathing out poetry. Thank you. <laughs>